My name is Angelia Wolford. I'm going to continue the SWOT analysis with the weaknesses. Um, so as I mentioned before, the brand um, has a reputation for being low cost. Um, and while this keeps them affordable, it also creates this perception of cheapness. Um, and the quality of the product comes into question. Uh, this can make people less inclined to buy um, because they feel like they would be getting an inferior product. Um, so people assume that in general, nothing good comes cheap. Um, next, um, they have no presence in athletic footwear. So, um, uh, you know, in, in comparison to Nike and Adidas, I mean, that's pretty much who you think of when you think athletic footwear. Um, but they definitely have a disadvantage um, when it comes to... Uh, being seen and being in that retrieval set for people who are looking to buy athletic shoes. Um, and lastly, um, their lack of social media presence. So as you can see here in the slide, I have a screenshot of their Facebook page. Um, and even though it shows that they have um, a substantial amount of followers, um, when searching through all the posts, they only have um, a little over a hundred comments um, and likes, which um, seems to be, the, uh, to me, a lack of interest. So even though people are following it because, you know, it's a well-known brand, they aren't necessarily interested in interacting and or reading about what the company has to say as far as um, potential products and um, anything innovative on their end.